Okay, so what we're gonna do uh, today is learn how to use the bend tool. So a lot of times you want you look you see something and you say, man, I wish I could bend it a little bit this way, like his handles, for example, or any type of object at all. So let's start with a basic cube. I want to just show you how easy it is. With even with a basic cube, it looks really really cool. So um, you bring in your object. All you have to do is make sure that the bend tool box is encompassed in your model. So when we go here, the first one, the first tool is called bend. So just make sure that that box is definitely inside your model. If not, you can expand this box or collapse it. Just make sure it's inside so we can actually bend it correctly. Okay, um, this is the opposite. You don't take the cube to the bend, it's the opposite. It's a bend to the cube. So the bend is gonna be the child, the parent is gonna be the cube. So I'm gonna grab the child and take it to the parent, which is the cube. So now, it's there. So all I have to do now is give it the strength. How much strength do I want? How much angle do I want? So I could go ahead and increase the strength so you can see that I can bend it this way or I can bend it the other way. Okay? Now it looks a little boring and you can say, Muhammad, how come it's not like looking really good? Right? Why is it looking crappy like that? Very good. Because the cube has nothing to bend. It has, doesn't have any segments. Right? So, the more segments, the more it can bend. Don't put too many segments that it becomes heavy for no reason because after a while you can add so many segments that it doesn't make a difference. So right now we're going to go and select cube. We're going to go ahead to the segments and I can increase the segments. You guys see that? So, I mean, there's no reason to go beyond maybe 40 or 50. It depends on your model. But if I go 40 and 400, it would look exactly the same. So there's no reason to have 400 segments uh, that will increase your poly count for the game. So let's go ahead and keep it up to a range that you kind of like and where it looks exactly what you want. So let's say around 20, 30, and then I can go ahead and go back, click on my bend, and I can go ahead and continue going ahead with bending it this way, bending it the other way, and I could go ahead and you can choose the angle. You want to, you know, this angle, it could come and take a look at me. It can come and take a look at the other side, like, all right. So we were talking about French fries. So uh, yeah, so we're talking about your, your French fries and having them bend a little bit, you know, making them looking soggy a little bit or something like that. Just to give it a little bit more character as if it's hairs or dreads kind of hanging for your character. Um, by the way, you can bend it all the way. So I can bend it all the way until it's let's just zero out. Let me just zero this out. Oh, I'm using the thing. You can actually grab it from here and just bend it as you wish. So it's really cool to bend. And, and it would work for any model. So any of your models would work and you can just bend it. You could turn it into a full circle if you want. So you could take it all the way until it closes. And you could just you know push it this way, push it that way. It's really interesting and works really well. So let's say you're doing like you know anything. Um, just make sure to avoid kind of like intersecting. So do that. This could be right there a really nice engine thing for your, your ship where the fire comes out. Or a lampshade. Or a lampshade, okay. yes. Like a or a hat. Or a sushi yeah. or whatever. Onion. Onion ring. All right, so you guys, does that make sense? So that's how to do a bend. I'll go ahead and do this again so you guys can take notes.